Texan Global School. Geometrical Representation of Whole Numbers. This class discusses the geometric representation of whole numbers. Recall that in previous classes, the set of whole numbers is represented as W. To represent a whole number we draw a straight line. This line is known as the number line. Subsequently, we choose the point on the line that we want to represent. The starting point of the line is called the origin and is represented by the number zero. At the end, the number line is represented by an arrow. This indicates that it continues to infinity. The desired scale is defined as appropriate. This scale is represented by the line segment between two whole numbers, which must be defined. In this case, it is one unit. In this figure we can see two number lines. The first has a scale of five units between each segment. That is, the numbers are 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, etc. The second is 20 units, thus representing 0, 20, 40, 60, 80. We can define the scale as appropriate. It can even be started at a non-zero number if necessary. To plot the graph of two whole numbers, we must draw a straight line called a number line. Next, we select an origin. Typically zero, but can be started at any point. We define a convenient unit of distance between the line segments to establish the scale according to the points. Finally, we draw each point according to its position on the number line. It is important to remember that if A and B are the coordinates of any two points on the number line, and point B is to the right of A, so B is greater than A or A is less than B. Let's look at the first example. We will graph the whole numbers 2, 4, 8, and 10. First, we draw the number line. The scale will be defined as 2 by 2 units since it is the pattern between the numbers. In this way, we identify each coordinate on the number line 2, 4, 8, and 10. In the following example, we will graph the whole numbers 7, 14, 28, 35, 49. The scale will be 7 and 7 since all numbers are multiples of that number. In this way, we identify each coordinate on the number line 7, 14, 28, 35, 49. Let's look at one last example. Given the following number line, we will find the coordinates of the indicated points. As you can see, each segment has a separation of 11 units. We start at 22, so the next coordinate will be 33. Then 44, and it coincides with 55. So the next one is 66, 77 coincides, and 88 continues. We then end with the 99 indicated. Therefore the coordinates are 33, 44, 66, 88. Texan Global School. Global Online Learning. Knowledge for the World www.texanglobalschool.com